Hi, writers. We are in our final stage. We are almost done with our unusual animal book. One last detail that we need to check through today is our editing process and thinking about end punctuation or commas and breathing when we read. Now, many of you have Google to help you. You've used that assistant, but some of you are still writing really long sentences that I'm running out of breath before I get to the end. So let me model for you what this strategy looks like, and then you'll go check on your Google slides for your unusual animal book um, and, and do it on yours and double check that you can breathe when you read and that Mrs. Hartman or Mrs. Dudley or Mrs. Spees can breathe when they read too. You wouldn't want to cause us to run out of breath, would you? Okay, so I'm in my unusual animal book and I'm going to read this as um, I go and I want you to notice some problems with this. So pay attention as I read this. The pink fairy armadillo is peacefully sleeping in her underground burrow with her pups. She waits patiently as her little pups. <sighs> I, I'm only on the second line and I ran out of breath. I Wait a minute here. Okay, hey, let me keep going. As her little pup wiggles in its pink protective shell, the two armadillos huddle close together. I ran out of breath again. I still haven't come to an end punctuation. Wait just a second. As the sun sets, her pup are ready to crawl out of their hole for the night. Oh, there's my end punctuation. Wait a minute. I ran out of breath way too many times. Let's reread that and think about breathing when we read. Let's see if I need to take a breath. The pink fairy armadillo is peacefully sleeping in her underground burrow with her pup. I breathed there. I better put end punctuation. And then I better make sure my next letter is capitalized. Okay, let me try that again. Now let's let's make sure that that worked. The pink fairy armadillo is peacefully sleeping in her underground burrow with her pup. Hmm, I can breathe now. Let me try another one because I don't think there's still enough punctuation. She waits patiently as her little pup wiggles in its pink protective shell. I that was just a natural stop there. So I'm gonna I breathed again there. I better have a capital letter. Well, let me check again. The two armadillos huddle close together as the sun sets. That was a natural stop there. And capitalize it. Let's see if this works. He and, oh, nope, that was supposed to be she and her pup are ready to crawl out of their hole for the night. Oh, let me reread that whole thing and make sure that that is, is right. The pink fairy armadillo is peacefully sleeping in her underground burrow with her pup. Breath. She waits patiently as her little pup wiggles in its pink protective shell. Breathe. Yes. The two armadillos huddle close together as the sun sets. Breathe. Oh, so much better. She and her pup are ready to crawl out of their hole for the night. Breathe. Now. Take a moment and see if you can figure out where the end punctuation would go here. Where we would you naturally breathe? All right. Did you say that you had a natural breath right there? If you did, you breathed when you read. All right, writers, be good editors and go double check and triple check and quadruple check your document and make sure you can breathe when you read. Next week, we're going to come back to some finishing touches and we're going to add our graphics and our pictures and our final touches to our project next week. Off you go, writers.